Well, howdy, 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 nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this, another brand new day. In my lap, I have a hamster. Whoops, I smacked into my, let me move that. I smacked into the pop shield for my microphone. It's Mama Squeak. Yes, Mama Squeak. Yay, Mama Squeak. After today, it's going to be Patches and Patches Jr. and Charvy's turn. It's been Boogle and Mama Squeak here these last two days. She might have been like three days ago or two days ago. It might have been her. So here she is back in the barrel again, being put up and dragged out of her out of her cage when she was trying to sleep. She's got her teeth going ang, 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 on my hand without actually hurting because I have trained them to to know that if they do that. If they let me know by putting their teeth like that, that says they're frustrated and they want to go down. And so I put them down. And so they don't actually bite to hurt. They just put their teeth like that. And it lets the universe know they want to go down. And I hit the focus point there. Wow, that was amazing. Uh, not really, but still. So that was Mama Squeak. Yay! And she wanted to go back down in her cage, so I put her back down in her cage, so it's awesome. I have absolutely nothing to say this morning. <laughs> Yay. Aside from the fact that I've got a busy day ahead of me. Yesterday was not so good. I went and got things done quickly here so that I could go to the Veterans Hub. I couldn't even find the road it was supposed to be on. I had a, a not massive but a growing anxiety attack in my vehicle while I was trying to find the place until it was like I gave up. I couldn't even find the road. I was driving around trying to find the place. So I'm going to my therapist today. I'm going to tell him about that and my frustrations and we're going to see what's going on there. The joyous part is he's in a new place now too. So I've got to try and get there on time. <sighs> Here's hoping I can make it all on time and and such like that. I don't have a printer, so I've got to write down the directions to get there. Thumbs up. Part of the problem. Yay. Oh well, though. Life is life. Yesterday, after I drove there and then drove back, I got here. I fell asleep, of course. So my reaction was late, and then because of that, my game video was late and so I ended up making that a long enough video on my game that I just split it into two pieces and so I had to put up one half on the game channel one half on the main channel that took forever I was up here all night all day yay <laughs> falling asleep of course periodically not a lot just once or twice or so in the morning slash afternoon and then I think I did pretty good in the evening but I did have some some small issues and then my housemates dabbed me out on some very very good THC oil and I was quite medicated and went to bed very very soon afterward because that was another night where I would have had difficulty playing the game fine to my foot I've had my tolerance for THC come down because I've had so little so that now when I get dabs they slam into me like a freight train I get very very medicated very very quickly <laughs> so it's a good thing and it helps I mean I can f normally I fall asleep really well anyway because when I lie down I've since in the time since I've got my bed back trained myself that it's lying down means you go to you go to sleep so I may get momentarily bored but I just lay there anyway and then now it doesn't take but five minutes and I'm out like a light so when I'm dabbed out I fall asleep even faster with my insomnia my insomnia is not the issue of falling asleep I fall asleep pretty quickly my issue is staying asleep because I wake up very easily. I'm a very light sleeper and I wake up like that 
and it, it doesn't take much to just wake me up. It can be pain or sounds or nothing at all that I can ever determine, so yay on that. It's difficult to get back to sleep once I am awake. That's the problem there. So when I do pop awake, it takes forever to go back to sleep. Usually I just give up after, if I haven't fallen asleep after another hour, hour and a half, it's I give up and I get up. That's usually the reasons I get out of bed in the morning from pain is lying in bed isn't gonna help. I've already been lying in bed an hour or more. I might as well just get up, it's not helping and the pain is just increasing. Since I can only sleep on one side, I can't sleep on my right side because of pain issues with my scoliosis and the bending of my spine. I can't sleep on my back with my back injuries. If I sleep on my back, my entirety of my back goes numb. My legs hurt so bad that I need help getting up. It's bad. And I can't sleep on my stomach with my neck the way it is. I can't turn my head far enough that I'd be able to breathe sleeping on my stomach it hurts turning my head just this far it's oh I've got so many issues my head juts forward with no bending in my neck you're supposed to have a curve so your neck you know goes straight up mine goes out like at the end of a crane so it always hurts and it's yay so that leaves me one side to sleep on and that's my left and when you can only lay on one side after a couple hours, it starts to hurt. So, yay. Oh well. You do what you gotta do. You do what you gotta do. Up to murder. I mean, if you have to murder just to, like, sleep at night, don't do what you have to do. That, that's bad. That you should not kill other people just so that you can sleep. That's not good. Yeah, I will make a value judgment on that one. Normally, I try not to make value judgments because who am I to, to judge other people for what it takes to get through the day? Oh my gosh, I, I've been broken and bleeding most of my life. I'm not going to ever tell somebody what gets you through the day is wrong because that's, that's wrong, telling people that. Whatever gets you through the day, as long as it doesn't hurt other people, is what you gotta do to get through the day. Just remember, the right to swing your fist ends where my nose begins. You can do whatever you like, just don't make it adversely affect other people. It'd be nice if the things we did to survive didn't kill us as well. I mean, so many people, just to get through the day, to kill the feelings enough to act like another human being through another day, is to self-medicate with alcohol or other drugs and it's it's rough i mean we're not we're not evolved for the sort of life that we live modern life is not good for human beings it's not good for the planet it's not good for us but even knowing that i still think we need to keep advancing I mean, we, we evolved as hunter-gatherers and, you know, pastoral sort of things. And so our bodies, our brains, our reflexes, our way of dealing with the world is the mindset. And we can't help that. That's the way our, our bodies are built. You know, you think the, the value of the things that you think are shaped by the shape of the container and the container of our thoughts is shaped by the ways that the container was built through all these hundreds of thousands of years and so the way we think is shaped by all that but the world that we live in now is not the world in which our thoughts and abilities to think were shaped and so because of that we've got to not think exactly the way we do but we do and that makes it very very difficult I can't exactly remember why and how I went on to that one, and I'm very sorry. That's good old fibromyalgia and being very tired because I woke up a little bit after five. It was about three hours of sleep, so it's been a morning when I've been trying to get my brain to function. I'm functioning a little bit. But with our bodies and our brains, 
modern society, the more people we get together, especially too, this is what makes it so difficult. The more we get people together, the more things accelerate. When you have smaller towns, smaller cities, smaller villages, they're about upwards of 10 to 20, 30, sometimes 40 or 50 decades behind larger cities. And that's, that's amazing. That's bizarre how when you get groups of people together, we accelerate all sorts of things so that large cities, things, stuff, the stuff happening in large cities like New York or, you know, San Francisco, Los Angeles, Seattle, all these things, it's so much faster than in the smaller places. I don't, there's so much stuff that could be like science fiction story based on that. And I think Werner Vinge probably did with one of his, like, I can't remember exactly what the story name is called, but it's like a deepness in the sky. Now yeah, that's the sequel. But it deals with time and such working faster the closer you get to the galactic core. But that seems to be an idea taken from, like, groups of people in that we really accelerate all of our stuff the more we get together. But, conversely, in the big cities, the way we deal with our large groups of people and the speed of which we do all these things is not the way our bodies and brains evolved. And it's not a good fit. Our bodies and brains don't work that well. And so people self-medicate to try and kill the pain of fitting in with modern life. And isn't that special? Thumbs up. Especially with, as I've noticed, it seems like life is painful. And so not just people, but animals seek out altered consciousness as well. Animals seek out things that make them drunk or otherwise affected by, you know, there's animals that seek out, well, all I can think of now is all the fermented stuff that makes them drunk, but there's other things as well that affects them in, in altered consciousness ways. It's like living is painful even for anything that everybody seeks a way out of what the pain is. Even animals, even other creatures, and that just seems kind of depressing as well. I'm really rambling and really just sort of advancing and thinking about this idea as I'm talking about it as well here. Because it really does seem to be true. I mean, look at that. pigs. Pigs will drink beer. Dogs will drink beer. And this isn't people forcing this stuff on other animals. This is the animals coming up and seeking it out. So... If other creatures and beings like to get out of their own heads as well, I mean, it's, a, it's not just us. What does that say about life? Especially since so many people use the drugs and other alcohols and other drugs. Yeah, I'm really rambling on that one. <laughs> just to escape, to kill feelings and pain. I don't know. Still though, I mean, life is life. Life is good on the whole. I mean, it's much better than not being alive, I think. On the whole, usually. I mean, I've never tried to kill... Well, no. I've never actually tried... I've never actually tried to kill myself. Quickly, I mean, I think that my alcoholism was an attempt to kill myself slowly. But as I got closer and closer to the actual firing of the trigger, that terrified me to the point that, yeah, I don't drink anymore because I don't want to die. So, that's a good thing. I'm really glad about that. I like living painful as it is. It's, it's good to metabolize, and hopefully you feel that it is good to metabolize as well. Because I, I do prefer metabolizing in an anabolic fat. Anabolic? Not anabolic. Aerobic. Gosh, where did I... Anabolic? My sincere apologies. I do prefer 
metabolizing in an aerobic fashion because metabolizing in an anaerobic fashion of course just means that you're rotting in an airtight sort of container and now all the anaerobic bacteria those that don't require oxygen or in fact die in the presence of oxygen take over that's why if your body gets locked into an airtight container like a, a coffin if there's lots of people that like to have them locked, uh, you will liquefy and the gases will build up and possibly explode to the point that, you know, there's this stuff as you come spraying out the end of your coffin. So thumbs up on that. I've opened up 24 hours worth of comments on my community tab. I'm going to go through and thank 20 to 25 people. It's a range of 20 to 25 because even though I count on the fingers of my hand in front of my face, I'm quite sure I lose track all the time. If I mispronounce your name, no disrespect is intended. I am I'm an American English speaker, and I'm not reading the comments right now. I'm going to read the comments later. I'm going to thumbs up everyone I read, answer as many as I can, but for now, I'm just thanking you for having left a comment, no matter the content of the comment. Good comment, bad comment, and different comment. Thank you for having left a comment. So number one, we have Toastic with an exclamation point. Thank you very, very much. Kandura, greatly appreciated. Rivertown, heck of a name. Thank you very, very much. Fish Sticks 95 son of a gun. Thank you. F. Miss Fido Mom, I sure hope I'm close. Thank you very, very much. Thomas S., greatly appreciated. Bud921, thank you very, very much. And yep, I'm the toaster. <laughs> greatly appreciated, thank you. Night Own, thank you. Thumbs up on that. Daniel Adkins, greatly appreciated. Tecadet, thank you very, very much. And Cold War45, son of a gun. Reese Emberly, thank you very, very much. Tercio Filo, I sure hope I'm close. Thank you very, very much. Dexter Latcham, thank you very, very much. And Ansem Vriku, I sure hope I'm close. Skull of Death, thank you very, very much. Heck of a name. Yuval Grossman, did I already thank you? I can't remember now. If you did, you got it twice. If not, hello. Thank you very, very much. Fla <laughs> flightless Kitchen Radio, <laughs> that's a heck of a name. I like that. Most kitchen radio should be flightless, I think, personally. And then Jose Hernandez, thank you. Jason Hallmark, greatly appreciated. Rob Rogers, son of a gun, and thank you very, very much. Game O Land, 1998, thank you very, very much. And then hopefully I'm at 25, thank you very, very much. Elf Kiss Me PL, greatly appreciated. Each and every one of you has stated you get me out of my head, into the real world, dealing with people, and that's a good thing. I, it's not a good landscape behind these eyes with my death of my wife three years ago, the death of her, her cat. He committed suicide six months after that, and then the bank took my house, and then I had to move into my brother-in-law's garage. I lost that house. I'm here, and I can't afford to stay here. I don't make enough money, so I'm on the constant edge of homelessness. It's not a good landscape behind these eyes. Thank you so very much for getting me out of my head and letting me deal with other people instead of just my own thoughts echoing inside of my skull. Greatly, greatly appreciate it. If you could check out my various links down below, that would be very cool. I have Twitter, Facebook, GoFundMe, Patreon.com, Google+. If you could check all those out, that would be very awesome. If you could donate to my GoFundMe campaign, become a Patreon.com patron, that would be very, very cool. I. I'm in dire financial straits as always. I can't afford to live here. I'm trying to find a way to get a better place. But until that time, and especially since the government is taking money out of my February disability check, if you could help me out, that would be good. I really need to be able to pay my rent. That would be a good thing. Now, if you cannot donate or you simply do not donate, although if you could become a Patreon.com patron like one of these beautiful, awesome people, that would be an incredible, wonderful thing. But if you cannot or do not, I do take all good wishes. I deposit them in the bank of my heart where I draw interest. So thank you very, very much. And if you could toss me a like, I do appreciate all the positive validation I get for my existence. If you could subscribe to the channel, that would be very cool as well. But if you didn't want to, I would understand. My personality has rubbed people wrong most of my life. If you did not like my videos or did not want to subscribe, I would fully understand. But if you are down with it, I'll do my best to keep you entertained from now until the literal, well, end of my time anyway. I turned 55 last October. Average lifespan of an American man with money and access to health care is 74 years, so here's hoping I can keep everybody entertained for the next 19 plus. 
I have a ration video coming up on this channel. I've got a game video coming up on this channel. If I don't fall asleep, hopefully, I'll have a game video on my game channel. Links down below if you want to go check that out. That would be cool and awesome. Thank you very much. So, you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side. Things are going to be a rush. I have to go to my therapist here. So, I'm in a kind of a rush here. So, take care. I will see you on the flip side and have a great day.